Right, I have got a uh, another batch of scrumpy on the go. As you can see there, um, this is apple and pear. Um, you can make it out of ordinary apple juice, of course, but I had a few spare bottles and decided to do an apple and pear, which is really nice. Get a bit closer and you can uh, see the yeast doing its job there. Fizzing away. Um, you can see the fermentation lock there. There's a couple of demijohns I've got and a few bits and pieces in here. I've just got this gallon one uh, on the go at the moment. Um, as I say, it's apple and pear this one. Um, four litres apple and pear juice and I use 12 ounces of sugar which gives me um, a finishing um, alcohol strength of just over 9%. Um, if you're going to make a scrumpy, you know, you, obviously you can make a scrumpy any strength you want, but you know, if you're going to do a, a scrumpy, you may as well make a one with a decent amount of alcohol. And as I said in some of my other videos, I have got a playlist actually of home brewing and you know making scrumpy from start to finish. If you if you want to take a look at that, if you want to you know make some yourself. Um, obviously, you've got initial outlay. You know, you've got your demi johns fermentation lock, your cork, you've got hydrometer, siphon tubing and sterilizers and whatever. Um, but once you've got that, it, you know, it will then start paying for itself. Uh, the actual, see it fizzing away there, the actual ingredients, the uh, apple and pear juice and the sugar, you can see there, costs four pound um, and as I say this will give me seven pints of scrumpy apple and pear flavoured scrumpy at just over nine percent and the cost will be about 57p per pint so that's 57 pence a pint for a for a you know 57p for a pint of High full strength apple and pear scrumpy. So you can see how cheap it is. And also I use um, proper cider yeast for the to start the fermentation. You can use ordinary beer yeast, but if you're gonna make a scrumpy which which I do, which is um you know high strength, so say you look at over nine percent, it is best to use proper cider yeast um, it will you know tolerate the, the high alcohol and that's it that's my uh, next batch of apple and pear scrumpy I have been making this stuff for over 30 years um, so this will be ready and it fer ferments out for some reason I'm not sure myself but apple and pear juice ferments out quicker than ordinary, you know, plain apple juice. I don't know why. Um, this will be fermented out. All the sugar will be converted to alcohol in probably about three or four days. That's all it takes. And also, um, you can take it from me. Um, as I say, I've been doing this now for over 30 years. Um, unlike beer with scrumpy, as soon as it's finished fermenting, you can drink it. You know, you'll hear other people say, oh no, you you got to let it stand and you got to you know bottle it let it stand and whatever which is totally an old wives tale soon as scrumpy has finished fermenting you can drink it as soon as it's finished fermenting in this demijohn here i could take that cork off and start drinking it straight away obviously the longer you leave it you know it will mature what i do i bottle it put a bit of sugar just a tiny bit you know just a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar just to get a second fermentation going in the bottle leave it for a week or so and then it will clear and it will mature and it will be a lovely drink but as I say you can drink it immediately it's finished fermenting and there's a lovely smell of yeast never tire of that smell 
Anyway, that's it. As I say, if you want a you know, bit more info and equipment and exactly the techniques and how to use a hydrometer and whatever, take a look at my playlist. It's on my channel.